in the process of this, I was thinking about other skaters too, because I was like, well, if I create this just for myself, there probably won't be too much street stuff. We gotta throw some stuff in there for everyone. Majority of it, I would say 95% of it was current. I kind of just gave them like, hey, this would be cool and this would be cool. Basically, it was like, Sean, that's cool, but uh, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Mountain Dew hit me up about doing a project called Modern Lines, and it was basically my take on building a skate park that would be kind of like dream park in a way, and I just prefer parks that you don't have to stop. A park that has everything, but you don't have to like stop, turn around, push, or like stop at a quarter pipe and then drop back down. All these features and everything are from just random features that I've seen at parks and just thrown into a huge giant park where you don't stop skating. You can go the whole park in one go. About a year ago, Curran came up with an idea about building a crazy course and Mountain Dew was like, yeah, we want to make this happen for you, which is really rad that they were all about like pushing the progression of Curran's idea and making it a reality. And I came on just to kind of support Curran just to see what he can come up with. And I've been friends with him for a long time and I just kind of wanted to see his mind and, and how it all plays out. We're here in San Marcos, California in a giant warehouse where Mountain Dew got the okay to build this course in along with California Ramp Works. And they put this all together in like four days, which is a trip. Like, obviously a lot of it was designed on the computer and I'm pretty sure they built some of the framework at their headquarters, but the majority of what you see here was built by hand in four days. It looks dope. Karen been talking to Mountain Dew for a while. They put this together, we got the squad out. It's fun, it's different, it's like very flowy. Everybody's able to skate it. Um, Karen did a good job putting it together. So you can hit different obstacles all in one. You don't just gotta like hit something and hop off your board. Then they got the obviously on the other side is the street section for dudes that can't really skate too much of that like myself. So it's dope. I think the goal was to not create something you're usually going to skate. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of these obstacles are like built that way and positioned in a certain way to the point where it can flow it all at once. Um, but yeah, like also just like learn stuff on the spot, like stuff that you would have never thought of trying. When I first walked in the door, I was blown away because everything is way bigger than I thought. I thought it was gonna be straight up a quarter of the size. I walked in, I see the drop-in ramp, and then like 200 feet away is a mini ramp. I'm like, we're gonna go all the way over there. The end goal is to like be able to do it all in one run without stopping. Yesterday, I got all the way around to the rail and then I was just jello-legged and jumped off, but just to know it can happen makes me happy, and I'm gonna check that off today. You can go the whole park in one go. It's, it's a leg burner, but it's good. I just wanted to create something that you're gonna have fun skating, and it's gonna look really cool on footage, and I feel like this park did a good job at that. My favorite thing to skate, which is really funny, this happened very late, like two days before they're actually gonna build the park, Curran had them put in this long flat bar that goes into the handrail. It's like 47 feet and then into a rail. And I just thought it was funny. It's like a challenge. You just go as fast as you can, lock in a trick, and then just like cross your fingers. It was cool to be sitting there when Curran pitched the idea for this long ass flat bar to go across and then meet down the stair set because that's been my favorite thing here so far and it's just very challenging but something I have never seen before in a skate park or really in the streets. With the course like this, there's very different styles of skateboarding that all came together to like form this course. I was more inspired about what they had to bring to the table because I don't usually skate while everybody else skates so it was kind of cool to just see it 
um, like know going in that it wasn't going to be like your normal skate park or normal like course at a contest. It was going to be like fun, but also could definitely progress you in certain ways. So it was kind of cool like that. There's this transfer thing that's just so scary that took me all of two days to even get myself to try it. This one channel behind me is actually the most difficult thing in this whole place because you gotta pump this like 11 foot vert wall and then take these little whoop de whoops and then just hope for the best here. It was cool seeing Malta like figure out some like different lines than what the rest of us were doing. It just shows like even street skaters can thrive on this type of course. I feel like the original ideas that Kern had and where it started from, like, I think Mountain Dew did a really good job of just making it w like what he wanted, um, which is actually really hard to do. And, you know, companies kind of sometimes can take things and, and make it their own, but they kept this really about Kern and what he wanted. And that is special, you know, Mountain Dew did a really good job. The phrase modern line is definitely portrayed in this course. It's just all types of skating put in the one. And yeah, I feel like the future of skating is you're not going to be a street skater or you're not just going to be a park skater or not just a bowl skater. You're going to have to skate everything. And it's now more than ever, it's like that. So there's no reason that there shouldn't be a course that you don't have to stop and you can hit everything.